This is a video on how to set up macro buttons within DriveWorks Pro. DriveWorks has the ability to run a pre-created macro from a button on a form. The macro can run code to perform certain custom actions. The macro can draw on and update the data within your specification according to what you have asked the macro to do. With DriveWorks, a group and a project already open, go to the form designer task and select the form where you would like to add a macro button to. The macro button displays a button on the user form that when clicked will run a macro. In this case, I will select the details form. I want to add a macro button on the form itself, which will progress the user to the next form without the need to click on the standard next button. This can be a useful way to use the macro button should you want to create a website from your project or if you would like to embed your project into another website. First of all, I want to create the macro itself which the button will run on. To do this, I need to go to the specification macros task from the task explorer and click on the add button, which is located on the command bar. Give the macro a name such as next form so that it's easily recognizable to you when you come to add it to the macro button itself later. Within the toolbox filter, type in skip as we are looking for the macro skip to form. This will bring up the macro task I want to add to the macro. Select skip to form and drag it into the task window. Now under the properties window, go to the form name property and click onto the drop down arrow and select general configuration as this is the form I want the macro to take the user to from the details form. Hit save and go back to the form design task from the task explorer. Click on the more button which is located on the command bar, select the macro button control and click on OK. Rename the macro button next form. Hit OK and then reposition the form control where you would like it on the form. Within the properties list, click on the rules builder button next to the property macro name. Within the rules builder button, you will see that there is a macros button on the command bar. Click this which will display a list of macros that have been created within the specification macros task. Here you will see that the macros we created earlier, called next form. Select this macro by double clicking on it, which will insert it with the rules builder as a valid rule. Then click on OK to accept the rule. We can test the macro form control now. Go to save and then under the specification explorer task from the task explorer, and select the new button on the command bar to create a new specification. Select the toolbox project and click on OK. Once the form controls have been filled in, you will notice that the new form macros work as next button and progresses the user to the next form. For more information, click on the help button anytime whilst using DriveWorks Pro or visit the online help file which can be found at docs.driveworkspro.com.